when we're trying to solve equations our goal is to isolate the variable we want to get the variable by itself on one side of the equal sign and our numbers on the other side of the equal sign that way we know exactly what it's worth so this first one n plus 7 equals 15 we can call a one-step equation because you see that there's one type of math there it just has addition so in order to go through and figure out the value of n it would only require one step of work we want to undo what's there by using the inverse operation. It's also the opposite, the inverse. So we want to undo this plus 7 that's with the n using a minus 7. So that would leave behind then plus 7 minus 7 would be 0. So it would leave only n. So our goal is to get n alone. And whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to keep it balanced by doing the exact same thing on the other side of the equal sign. So this makes our plus 7. Um, cancel and leaves us a value of 0, which we don't have to write, so we'll re-put the n, bring the equals straight down, and then the other side we have 15 minus 7, which equals 8. So our solution there is n minus 8. To check your work, you'd plug it back in, n plus 7, and we want to know, does it equal 15? So 8 plus 7, and does it equal 15? 15 equals 15, so we know I have our correct solution. The second one is called a two-step equation because you can see that we have multiplication and we have addition in the problem. So we have two things that we have to undo. Think about your order of operations and what we would do um, if we knew only this side of the information, if that wasn't there. If we knew the value of x, we would multiply two times that number and then we would add three because that's our order of our operations. But to undo it, we generally go backwards through the order of operations to undo those steps and using the inverse. So the first thing we would want to do is this plus 3 by undoing it with a minus 3. So minus 3 on both sides of the equation, and that would leave 2x equals 20. You see that we still have one step that we have to deal with. We have to undo the times 2. We undo multiplying with dividing. So um, 2 divided by 2 would be 1, which is why we don't write it. We can just put x instead of 1x. And on the other side, our math to do 20 divided by 2 gives us 10. So we have a solution of x equals 10. If we plug it back in to check, 2x plus 3, we want to know if that equals 23. So 2 times 10 plus 3. So using our order of operations, we would multiply first. We get 20 plus 3, which does equal 23, so we know we have our correct solution.